Courtney Cox here with Chris Busher. And Chris, we got to start by talking about your rookie season. I mean, a lot of success there. Uh, when you look back at it, nine, ten years down the road, what's the one thing that you want to be super proud about? Uh, I think our commitment each and every week to, to be able to go to the racetrack and keep working hard and keep improving our program. It's been pretty awesome to see. And to get that win at Pocono, obviously really the, the season changer for us right there, to pull that one off and put ourselves in position to, to be in the chase right now. It's it's a pretty special day. Uh, we got a, a pretty special weekend ahead of us. We got two more before this round is over, and we got to pull something off here. And I want to talk about that race in Pocono. Obviously, you don't want to let yourself get too high, get too low. Uh, is it your support system around you that keeps you level-headed, keeps you grounded? Yeah, I'm... Um, I'd say I'm usually pretty level for the most part, so it's uh, hopefully not putting too much work on, on most of them, but uh, the whole time, especially Pocono, sitting there in the rain delay, we were out there for 80 minutes, I believe, and it was just a matter of don't get your hopes up yet. There's a, a really good chance it's going to go right back to green and we're going to start all over, but you know, obviously with the, with the weather that came in and everything working out, it was a, it was a pretty cool situation. It's just a, a different way than I imagined our first win going. And when you look ahead, either you got to win on Sunday or you got to win at Dover to stay in this thing. Does that add a lot of pressure, and how do you deal with that? Yeah, it, it will. Um, you know, we're, we're coming to Loudon. It was a pretty good track for us the first time around, so I am excited to be back here. Uh, a little bit of weather this morning that I don't think we really expected. Uh, we'll get through that, get the track dry, and get out there and see what we got with our, our Love Sport Fusion. Uh, I'm, I'm excited about it. I like short track racing in general, uh, and this is this is one of those tracks that, that leads to some some wrinkled fenders and some good action. So we're, uh, we'll are we get rolling and see if we can get a win out of this thing. And when you look back at Chicago, look ahead to Sunday, I don't want you to give anything away, but any last-minute strategies that you can let us in on? Uh, we're we're kind of just winging it and getting everything we can get. So I don't think it's very really top secret. We just know we need to go out here and be aggressive. We need to get everything that we can every time we're on track over these these next two for, for each of these three-week periods. And... You know, we're going to give it all we got, and wherever we end up, that's how it's going to play out.